so today I am doing some more uh, gear care work. Um, we haven't really washed our waterproof jackets much um, while we've been hiking, so they definitely need to be retreated. And it's very, very easy to wash waterproof jackets, so I thought I would share that with you. Um, just in case you are wondering or unsure how to wash your own jackets. Okay, so I have some notes. Okay, so today I am using two products. Um, they are both by Nick Wax, and so this is their Tech Wash, and it is a technical cleaner for waterproof clothing. Um, so this is what's going to be going into the machine with um, the jackets to clean them. And then afterwards, I'm going to be using their TX Direct Spray-On, and this is to um, re-waterproof the outside of the jacket. Uh, a lot of companies now sell a two-in-one, so the bottle, the stuff that you put into the machine also has the re-waterproofing um, chemicals in it. However, if you, uh, if you remember Carl's jacket here, this has insulation uh, inside it. It's, it's synthetic, but it has this, this um, Extra, extra padding, an extra layer on, in the, on the inside that I can't remove. And typically if you're using something that has these double layers, it's better to wash it with one thing and then re-waterproof just the outside of the jacket because otherwise you can get kind of like clumping and the inside of the jacket can feel really like, um, not quite greasy, but just kind of gross. It kind of leaves a residue layer on the inside. So I decided to get the, the two separate ones, just waterproof or re-waterproof the outside of the jacket after we washed it. If you don't have or don't want or can't afford to get a wash just for washing your waterproof jackets, um, by the way the, the bottle of the wash stuff cost six euro and the re-waterproofing spray was a tenner. Um, but if, yeah, if you don't want to get these, you can use non-biological detergent. So in no ways can you use biological detergent, only non-bio, non-bio detergent. You also want it to be a liquid form as opposed to a powder and no fabric softener at all. So if you use a lot of fabric softener and a lot of powder detergents and like things with bleach in them in your washing machine, it's best to run it through on a, on a really hot cycle, just empty before you wash um, your jacket in it to kind of clean it out so that you're not adding extra chemicals in and possibly harming your jackets. Before they go in the washing machine, make sure that you clean off any uh, mud or large clumps of dirt and zip up the pockets and stuff like that. So for every jacket, it will have a care label on the inside and depending how well worn away it is, it is hopefully still readable. Yeah, so it says do not use fabric softeners don't iron, obviously. Um, it says you can tumble dry it, and I think it says 40 degrees is the hottest temperature it can go through. And then, whoop, my jacket. Yeah, 30 degrees and uh, low tumble dry. Great. On, the, on whatever washing uh, waterproofer you get, it'll say on the bottle how much to use. This says to use 150 mils for two jackets. Typically with these kind of things you can only wash two things at a time but it, it varies um, product to product. You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss need to spray the re-waterproofing spray on the outside of the jacket so I'm going to just kind of hang it over the clothes horse spray it over everything I've got a towel on the ground to hopefully catch anything that mists away and then you can either leave it to air dry or you can tumble dry it 
Previously, I have air dried, but like kind of right beside it, like almost over a radiator, not touching it, but it's like above a radiator to like extra dry it. Typically, I've heard that having extra heat is better. It kind of helps it like tighten and helps the fabric kind of like contract back to how it originally was and becomes more watertight. Both of the jackets that I'm washing right now, um, the care labels say that they can be tumble dried. So I'm unsure if I want to try that or if I just want to put this clothes rack beside a radiator again. I'm going to think about it while, while I spray them. So because Carl's jacket is insulated, it's holding like a load of water. <laughs> Faster, your jacket is like, like multiple kilos right now. We washed the jackets yesterday, we tumble dried them and then after that they were still a little bit kind of dampish feeling so I hung them on some chairs, put them beside the radiator and then mine was dry this morning and um, because Carl's has insulation on the inside, um, the inside still felt a bit damp so we turned it inside out, put it back on the chair beside the radiator and left it just to air a bit longer. Um, today in Dublin was pretty horrible weather wise so I definitely noticed that the water on my coat was like beading again. Actually, oh, this bit's still wet. So you can see, yeah, so you can kind of see that the water has like beaded on the jacket, which means the waterproofing um, worked well. It's not just going straight through it and onto me. It was a really, really horrible day outside. Um, so I was really grateful to, that it was dry enough to wear this morning. And yeah, I guess that is a success. Nice rewaterproof jacket. <coughs> I, um, <clears throat> Apologies if I sound horrendous for this whole video. I woke up with no voice this morning. I have drunk enough honey and lemon that I can talk now. Um, but I feel really, really nasally, so I'm sure I sound so bad. So if you haven't heard by now, we have a Patreon, um, which is where, or how we fund this project, I guess. Um, it's like kind of crowdfunding, and we have 30 people supporting us at the moment, and they are all such wonderful, wonderful um, people. We're super, super grateful for all your support. Uh, thank you so much. And this week, I'd like to give a special shout out to Declan Jennings, to Marcus Kavanagh, and to Jen Carey. Without your continued support, um, wouldn't be able to do this all the time. So thank you so much for helping us. Um, also, I, I, I made tote bags. If you would like a tote bag, um, they are uh, for sale on our website. Um, we have a little hiking Elvis traversing the many mountains that, uh, that are around the country. Um, a huge thank you to my sister Sarah um, for designing the tote bags. I'll leave a link in the description to more of her artwork. She's absolutely wonderful. And um, yeah, if you would like one, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'll also leave a link in the description to where you can find these. And yeah, uh, I guess I just wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful um, end of this year and beginning of next year. Um, and I hope you have some exciting plans for 2019. Yeah, thank you so much for your for watching and we will see you soon. Cleaner for what or a cleaner for what over the hot one. That I don't have to use the other.